You asked me if an ordinary person, by studying hard, would get to be able to imagine these things like I imagined. Of course, I was an ordinary person who studied hard. There's no miracle, people. It just happens they got interested in this thing and they learned all this stuff. They're just people. There's no talent, a special miracle ability to understand quantum mechanics or a miracle ability to imagine electromagnetic fields that comes without practice and reading and learning and study. So if you say, you take an ordinary person who's willing to devote a great deal of time and study and work and thinking and mathematics and time, right? then he's become a scientist. When we were talking about the atoms, one of the trouble that people have with the atoms is that they're so tiny and it's so hard to imagine the scale that uh, the size of the atoms are in size compared to an apple is the same scale as an apple is to the size of the earth. And that's a kind of a hard thing to take. And you have to go through all these things all the time. And people find these numbers inconceivable. And I do too. And the only thing you do is you just change your scale. I mean, you're just thinking of small balls, but you don't try to think of exactly how small they are too often. <laughs> or you get kind of a bit nutty, all right? But in astronomy, you have the same thing in reverse because the distances to these stars are so enormous. You, see. you know that light goes so fast that it only takes a few seconds to go to the moon and back, or it goes around the Earth seven and a half times in a second. And it goes for a year, two years, three years before it gets to the nearest other star that there is to us. But all our stars are, in the stars that are nearby, in a great galaxy, a, a big mass of stars, which is called a galaxy, a group. But this ga our galaxy is, what is it, something 100,000 light years, 100,000 years. <laughs> And then there's another patch of stars. It takes a million years for the light to get here, going at this enormous rate. And you just go crazy trying to make too real that distance. You have to do everything in proportion. It's easy to say with the galaxies are little patches of stars, and they're 10 times as far apart as they are big. Well, that's an easy picture, nobody gets it. But you just go to a different scale, that's easier. You know, once in a while you try to come back to Earth scale to discuss the galaxies, but it's kind of hard. The number of stars that we see at night is about only about 5,000. 